you can create multiple libraries that are separate from your personal library that you can share with other people. This is really handy when you have a group project and you need to collectively find sources and annotate them. To create a new library, select the icon that looks like a box, New Library, then choose New Group. You'll be prompted to log in to Zotero.org, and here you can choose a name for your group, and then choose the group type below, Public or Open Membership, Public Closed Membership, or Private Membership. I'm going to choose Private Membership, and then select Create Group. Now we're brought to our New Groups Settings menu, where we can change the group type and permissions. I'm going to make sure that any group member can edit and read. And if you make any changes, be sure to hit Save at the bottom. Now if I go to my Groups tab, I can see the shared libraries that I'm a part of. And for my big project, I'm going to choose Manage Members so I can invite other people. I'll choose Send More Invitations, and in the Invite Members group, I'll add my group members' email addresses, and then I'll click Invite Members. It's important to remember that you should encourage all of your group members to get their own separate Zotero accounts, not to share just yours. This way, everyone can keep track of their own information, their sources, and not have to worry about people changing things. And it's easy enough to invite people to a group library. Now I'm back in my Zotero application, and I'm going to hit Refresh. And as you can see, my new group library, Big Project, is in the left-hand menu. And once my two group members accept the invitation, they'll be able to access this as well. Two other things to note. One, whoever creates the group library owns that data. So if you're getting close to your data limit on Zotero.org, you might ask a different group member to create the library on their account. Secondly, you have the option to transfer ownership. For example, perhaps you are finished with your group project and you don't really need the information anymore. However, someone in your group really wants to continue the research, and they want to keep all of the sources you all already collected. To transfer ownership, go to Zotero.org. Go to your Groups tab. Go to Manage Members. You should see the current members of your group. And as you can see, my role is Owner. You'll be able to change the role of other group members so that you're a member and they're an owner. After you do that, you just select Update Roles, and ownership will be transferred.